industry inside a nutshell. The show where we sail into our port of call discussing maritime history. Titanic, Carpathia, and the Kodak Girl. The story of Bernice Palmer. When you see photographs of the Titanic, you will find pictures on board the ship by Francis Brown before the sinking. Another thing you would think of is the photos that were taken on board the Carpathia where the ship collected the 712 survivors from the cold North Atlantic. However, did you know that they were taken by a 17 year old girl? Yes, you heard it right. A teenage girl took these pictures from lifeboat number 6 rowed towards the Carpathia to the Countess of Roths attending to third class passengers making sure they were fed and warm. Bernice Palmer didn't know how important her photos would become. However, they show the look of disbelief and sorrow in the aftermath of the sinking. She would become a one of the many passengers on the Carpathia to learn about the news, and it was one she would never forget, too. Bernice Gardner Palmer was born in Ontario on the 10th of January of 1893 to a bookkeeper named Frederick Palmer and had an older sibling named Douglas. From an early age, Bernice had a passion for photography, and because of that passion, she was gifted a Brownie Kodak camera from her parents on either Christmas of 1911 or on 10th of January 1912. On 11th of April 1912, Bernice and her mother boarded the RMS Carpathia in New York. They booked first class passengers, and like an additional 698 passengers, they were headed out on the New York Mediterranean shipping lane. However, on the 15th, the Carpathia's wireless operator, Harold Cottom, received a distress call from the Titanic. The captain and crew took immediate action, and in a race to reach the sinking vessel, the passengers would have heard all the crewmen preparing lifeboats, ladders, and canvas bags for children. Staff set up hospital wards and blankets and hot drinks were being made in a hurry. Despite having the captain tell the crew to carry out tasks in silence, some of the passengers had woken up to the commotion on board the promenade deck. Bernice slept a little and she woke up feeling cold. She opened a porthole in her cabin before turning to her mother saying something terrible has happened. It was clear that she heard the activity going on so she and her mother got dressed and went up to the promenade deck where they watched the drama unfold. A little after 4 a.m., the captain and the crew of the Carpathia saw a pale green glow. There, they spotted a lifeboat number two, one of Titanic's lifeboats. The Carpathia was spent over four hours searching for the remaining lifeboats. Bernice and her mother stood on deck as passengers and crew were being lifted from the Titanic's lifeboats. While watching and walking around the deck, Bernice began to document the activity on the deck. She even took a picture of the iceberg, which was believed to have sunk the Titanic. In a later interview, she recalled seeing first-class passengers looking cold and terrified, and how some women wore borrowed clothes from the men who were lost in the sinking. She also saw two unnamed first-class passengers who kept apologizing for their survival, but even though they were ashamed, the second one had nothing to be apologetic for as he had been ordered into a lifeboat during the sinking. When the last survivor boarded the ship, Bernice saw nothing else except for floating deck chairs sailing on the calm and still ocean. The Carpathia would change her course and head back to New York arriving on the 18th of April. While on board, Bernice was approached by a newsman from a photography agency. Seeing her camera, the agency, under the name Underwood & Underwood, drew up a contract, offering Bernice a sum of $10 in exchange to develop, print, and return the pictures afterwards. But she ended up being scammed by the agency since she sold her pictures for $25, only having been paid half of the profit she received from the photographs, which was $10. Her father took legal action against the company, and as a result, she was able to buy back her images for a sum of $1. In later life, she moved to Los Angeles and joined the Titanic community, and eventually befriended a Titanic survivor named Edwina Trout. In 1986, she donated her camera and photos to the Smithsonian Institution and died three years later at the age of 96 years old. 
The camera can be seen today at the National Museum of American History in Washington, D.C. The story of Bernice Palmer and how she took those iconic photographs are fascinating. However, Bernice is forgotten, unlike Frances Brown. And through this video, we hope her story gives the deserved attention it should have had in the first place. Without Bernice, we would never understand the conclusion to the story of the RMS Titanic through her photos. And I would like to thank my friend DK for narrating this video. DK is also part of the historic travels group, like Hannah. But speaking of Discord, I am so thrilled to announce that I have set up my own Discord group where we hang out and talk about all things history. We even have a discussion and debate night every single Thursday. So if you would like to join the Discord group, a link to it will be in the description box down below. If you enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe for future videos. Until next time, this has been History Inside a Nutshell, departing from the dogs. Thank you so much for all of your support and enjoy the rest of your voyage.